Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and you join me for another remarkable episode of Computer Tycoon. How do I know it's remarkable? Well, I'm ever hopeful, optimistic. And can you blame me really? I mean, when you look at this map, the purple colour, the colour of computers by Ajax, my own computer technology company, has over 90%. You can tell in this little graph here at the very, very top, we've got over 90% of all the sales across the globe and in almost every market. In fact, although I'm not going to check this because it will take me a long time, in fact, I think in every market I am competing in, I have the lion's share of sales in that market. The fact that you see some other colours dotted around the map, the yellows, the oranges, the browns, and of course the green up there in, in Greenland, yes, yeah, so appropriately enough. Uh, there, I'm not seeing any reds though, or blues. Oh, it's a shame, isn't it? it the, the only reason these other, other colours actually is that, oh, there is a blue. It's here, Western Sahara. Oh, bless. Uh, yeah, the only reason, so I'll, I will finish this sentence in a moment. The only reason there are other colours still on the map is because I just haven't bothered. I haven't seen the need to extend into those markets. I've I've not actually got an, op an office open to sell my computers in those those locations. I could do that. I have currently only got two logistics points, so I can only get two more territories. But if I just buy another or just open up another logistics office on one of my sites, I could I would I could turn the world, the whole world purple, I reckon. Well obviously apart from these closed communist countries, and we've got to wait ooh, another four years or so. Uh, into 1989, I think, when most of these should open up. That'll be the fall of the USSR, which you may remember, or you may have read about in history books, depending on, of course, your age. Yeah, I remember it, actually. We are currently in March 1985, and you may recall the other remarkable thing that happened. I will get on with this episode shortly. The other remarkable thing that happened in the last episode was I discovered black and white LCD displays that was one of the research tools, one of the research uh, technologies I did. And you can see in this little list down at the bottom left, B&W LCD display. In very small text, though it did come up in a lovely big display box at the time, it tells me I now have all the technologies I need to build portable computers. Yes! So I can now build not just home computers, not just personal computers, but I'm going to call them laptops as well at times. Portable computers. So if I say laptop, you know I mean portable. Yeah, I'm going to explain why I'm going to do that particularly in a moment. Now, one downside of that is that I needed then to go into my hardware list here and create a whole raft of new components from which I can build my new portable computer, which is fine. This is basically just a copy of the one I've got for the HPC. Uh, home and personal computers. So this one here, which is the uh, video card, the graphics board. We discovered also the LSINV technology, which apparently is low cost, high performance video graphics solution. And yes, it does make the cost of these cards a whole lot cheaper. So I can make them better, faster, have more memory and so on. Um, so all I've done is I've had to add the portable option here into those designs. So pretty much all the, all the hardware components are much the same as they were for the PC, with one or two exceptions. Uh, one of those, the most significant of those, was the power supply. So if we take that one away, there we go. So you'll notice the pictures are different here. Oh yes, they are. Yes, the, the O4, the HPC, the Home and Portable Home and Personal Computer Power Supply is this XT Power Box. Whereas for the laptop, it needed to be a power adapter. So this is purely for the laptops, the portable computers that I'll be building soon. So I can use in this the power adapter and the alkaline batteries. Yes, which we researched yonks ago. Can you even remember that far back? Not sure I can. Uh, yeah, so we've got that. Also, I think there was one other. Was it the input device? Yes, it was. Yeah, because... On the home and personal computers, you do actually have a five and a quarter inch bay into which you slot your five and a quarter inch disk drive. 
yeah, you do. That, that's how it works. Whereas on the laptops, the portables, you don't. You just have a little opening in the casing to put your diskette drive in. So I've had to make a separate one for that, which is all fine and good. The other thing I have done is on all of these where they are the same machine, but just uh, a different version. Did I not do storage? I've, oh, for goodness sakes, man, I didn't do the storage. Why not? Let's do that now, shall we? So we'll copy that. And this is should just be... Oh, it's a different design. Oh, right. Okay, I need to check. So get rid of that. Now, this, this might explain why I didn't do it. I got lost doing something else. Uh, yeah, so on this we've got... Oh, it's a five and a quarter inch bay again, isn't it? Yes, that's what the issue is. Okay, so we will copy this. Uh, I will just call it the L for laptop. There you go. And we will say it's four laptops. And the five and a quarter inch disc bay disappears. Actually, I'm just thinking. Now I have select, yeah, on this, this selection here of all the hardware components, you can check which ones you want to see. And I want to see all the components for home, personal and portable computers. So that's fine. Um, we'll leave it much the same as is, I think, to be honest. So that's that one. So we'll create that. That's good. Yeah, but the other thing I did do on the other devices, which are much the same, is where I've created a copy of the same thing, but now with portable compatibility, is I actually reduced the price on the older version. Uh, I don't know quite what difference that will make to my sales because we do now sell uh, individual PC components to individual people, to customers. Yes, that's what we do. Uh, so is there anything else I need to show you before we get into that? Probably not. Uh, oh, th no, there is one thing actually I will before we get into actually building our new portable computer, uh, which will be exciting enough anyway. I got a, a message, a comment from Andrash, the developer of the game. Thank you, Andrash, uh, on my last video uh, where I pinpointed that in the sales uh, preferences, that's where it was. Yeah, prestige. Uh, which is this brownie colour, is not as important as it used to be. Um, and what Andrash commented on that was that that's an impact of the PCs. Because in home computers, prestige is a thing when you're selling to customers. And in fact, when your computer goes through the testing and polishing phase, it actually increases that prestige. You get a buff as we say in computer gaming circles, you get a buff uh, on the prestige when it goes through testing. That doesn't happen with PCs. I did sort of remember hearing that some time ago uh, when, when these sort of protocols, these mechanisms were, were being discussed and explained. But yeah, I've, I forgot it basically, sorry. <laughs> so so we're, we're not worrying about prestige so much. And that kind of filters back into something else we discovered. Well, we dis I discovered it. You weren't here at the time. I'm sorry about that. Uh, yeah, on my PC here, the first one I released was actually, was it the second? I can't remember now. Might have been. <laughs> but on the marketing page here, we see one of the things we learned is that features is plus plus, double plus good. George Orwell reference there for you. Uh, it's double plus good on features. Um, but not so much on things like prestige. Well, we don't know about that, but that probably drops off. Whereas on the home computer, yeah, you see prestige is a, a plus good, a, a one plus symbol on that. So that's quite important. So yeah, so that all feeds into that. Uh, we asked, in terms of sales, uh, where are we? We're looking for customers. Yeah, our home computer is selling really well. 11,000 were sold yesterday, whereas the PC is just dropped off somewhat. It's only selling about 4,000 4, now. Uh, so as you can see here, this is what happens. Demand drops off as people sort of, they bought one, they don't need to buy a second one. Or the granddad's got one, why should I buy one? Sort of whatever the logic is, but that's what happens anyway in computer markets. So what we could actually do here on the PC, because I, I am, overproducing at the moment 
is I could reduce my price, but I don't like doing that if I can help it. We could increase marketing here. Let's go big marketing. Yeah, let's do that for the PC. Okay, and run it forward a day or so. Is that, oh yes, I've that's gone up from 59 to 77 million demand points. Have I actually got capacity to meet that? <laughs> Are my factories uh, got spare capacity. I have been upgrading factories, as you know from the last episode. Oh, all my factories are at full capacity. Oh my goodness. Uh, right. Now, I was planning... Oh no, I've done... I've done South Africa. Yeah. Okay. Uh, at level 5. So, should I do Bangladesh as well? Bring that one up. Actually, what we could do is bring Niger up to level 4 which will give me a production of, uh, it's currently two and a half, it's currently, oh, is that all? 540, ooh, level four is a big increase, isn't it? So let's do that. So we want to upgrade, is that right? It is, yes, it is a big upgrade from three to four. So if we upgrade our recreation building there, I can then upgrade the factory to level four as well. So, right, okay, so we've got that going and we've we've got uh, three and a half inch diskettes under research. I'm gonna keep the game paused for the moment because I, I don't want to get too carried away with the research while I'm building and designing this computer. Because as you know, I like to take my time. <laughs> yes, I'm slow, it's what I'm saying. Yeah, 11 minutes to, into the video and I haven't actually built a new computer yet. What is going on this, with this man? Right, uh, let's build a new machine. A portable computer. There's only handhelds that we have yet to discover. So it's a portable computer. The accessories, we might as well give them all. Yeah, let, let's go go big. Go big or go home, is that what they say? Something like that. Uh, we'll add the RAM. Uh, no, I don't, I double click, I want to click there. That's it. We've only got the one CPU still, of course. Actually, I think I bumped up the performance of the CPU for, for the laptops. But, uh, yeah, that shouldn't matter too much. So we've got the Ruval Media, the graphics card, the new power adapter, power supply, a storage without the five and a quarter inch drive, uh, bay, <laughs> display. Uh, I've gone for the EGA because that is all round a better performer. It has better characteristics in features, prestige, and ease of use. The, the black and white display does look like a portable or laptop screen, uh, so it would look better. But to be honest, you know, EGA, that's just a symbol. That's just an icon, isn't it? So on a laptop, it would actually be built in to the... Actually, that looks more like a calculator, doesn't it? Hmm. <laughs> actually, you know, you usually do plug them in, don't you, to a screen? We do if you're using them properly. Uh, we also discovered mouse support, which is very handy because we've now we've had a mouse <laughs> accessory for, for ages now. Right, uh, so this is going to be 85... Oh, what's, what's my naming system? Oh, I forgot my naming system. Oh, bother. Um... CBA. I'm probably going to change this in a minute. Uh, I'm going to call it LAP. Do I want to call it LAP? I can't remember. Uh, 85 1. Okay, so that's what we're going to call it. Uh, pricing. Now, our PC was priced at five and a half grand. I think this should be six. Don't you? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I'll work out those percentages in a minute. Percentages in a minute. Uh, marketing, we'll go medium as usual, and again we'll sell to casuals. We'll, we'll check what the, the the sales are when we put it out on the market itself. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, that's my new computer, but I want to actually check here uh, and portables. Oh right, yeah. So my naming system is completely wrong. Well, not completely. Uh, so that should be A J. But Ajax computers buy. There we go. That's better. Uh, right. So if we look at uh, what my what's my general discount strategy? So on the PC, whoops, pricing 60, 50, 25, 10. 60, 50, 25, 10. 60, 50, 25, and 
10. Okay, now I am first. Nobody else has discovered portables yet. So I'm going to charge the premium premium price, of course. I'm going to be the apple in everyone's eye. <laughs> yes. Uh, marketing, we've got that sorted out. Medium campaign. Yeah, so let's go into testing. Your new computer model went into the testing phase. Excellent. Uh, let's get time rolling on. Oh, one thing I will say here, um, it was mentioned in a previous video, and again, Andrash did comment um, that he's changing this, but in the upcoming update to the game, we've got no time scale on that as yet. Uh, so so don't, don't go hassling anyone. But in the next update to the game, uh, the, the, the factory production will automatically you be managed for you. New technology. Thank you. Uh, so what will happen is, is when your production, when you're when you're overproducing, which has happened a lot, that will put stock into your warehouses. You've got this SPP figure here at the top right. When that becomes full, your factory sites will be automatically sort of mothballed. The figure here, I'm told, uh, Andrash did actually p make a note of this in the Discord server, but I just happened to miss it at the time, so I've gone back and, and re referenced it. So your production here will still show 100%, but the actual production will be zeroed. Um, so you're not producing when you don't need to produce to meet the demand. So that's a lot easier than me, as you've seen me in these episodes, coming here to qu quickly <laughs> fiddle with these numbers here to make sure that I'm not uh, wasting money by producing stuff that's not being sold. Okay, so we've got the three and a half inch diskette. What are we still researching, actually? Uh, oh, Nick, Nick Cad, well, that'd be good. Heat Your sinks, serial ports. Has completed. Right, we've got the new recreation center. So what I want to do is upgrade the factory as well. Michelle, what I'll do as well is upgrade, upgrade recreation in Bangladesh, just in case we do need to go to level five there as well. You have researched a new technology. Yeah, these technologies are going to come through quite quickly because as you can see, they don't need a lot of research to do. Then we'll get the 386 processor. But we'll come back to research properly in a minute. I want to wait for my... You have researched a new technology. ...for my computer to be ready. My portable to be ready. Is it not ready yet? I'm so keen, I'm so eager to get it done. And out. Our demand is... Oh, hang on. What's going on here? Uh, nothing... Oh, I think, yes, what happens here is that because I'm not producing enough to meet demand, it's sort of sent... This is how I understand it works. I may be wrong. Uh, it's sent to the people who who pay the mo who buy the most of them. So there isn't enough to meet the demand in places like South Africa here, for example. Uh, so if I click uh, on here... No, if I... Does it tell me? Yeah, I've not sold any in there. Like yellow which is cheap and great are doing well there actually let's just check uh who else was our competition is it ibn the trouble is nobody is competition anymore <laughs> I mean, i've still i've still got over 90 percent of the sales uh, we've learned don't some... have enough manufacturing capacity yes i know i'm working on it i'm working on it your building upgrade has completed right we've got the factory We've also got the recreation in Bangladesh. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to upgrade the Bangladeshi factory as well uh, to level five. Okay, I'm not sure we'll need it just yet, but hopefully when the new Your new computer model is polished. Thank you so much. When this comes out, we should be away and laughing. Computers, there we go. Uh, so what have we got? Uh, so we're happy with that the pricing I've set yeah Apple level pricing as someone commented <laughs> on one of the previous videos that my pricing is quite extortionate okay let's uh, market this thing shall we and I'll stop waffling ever so slightly uh, release okay uh, let's market it 
demand is extraordinary and the reviews are in. Everybody loves it. This is, I'm already selling. I'm selling loads. I am selling loads. I have no, f <laughs> I just don't have the, the factory capacity for it. Awesome. Right, actually, while we're here, let's just check. So the customers here, 7,500 for the laptop. Oh, only 4,000 for the home computer now. Okay. That could be that I'm getting price competition from somebody or other. And the PC, that's down to 2,000. Well, those portables are really, they're, they're, I don't know. That's impressive. Because I could reduce the prices of my older machines, couldn't I? Oh, let's do that. Let's make it just 5,000. I'm still profitable on that. And the home computer. Uh, 3500 will do. And I still do not have Your a... building upgrade oh, has completed. Bangladesh factory is ready and I'm now overproducing, but that's fine. I am still earning 7 million a day. And I'm nearly... I am 92% of the global sales market. And everything is properly purple again. Do you know what I want? I want a new logistics office somewhere. Where can we go that we don't have a big logistics office? I think they're all... Oh, nope, nope, nope. Here we are in Ireland. And uh, we've got a level one. Let's upgrade that. And that will give me another eight logistics points. That, that'll be almost the entire world I can then open up to the wonders of Computers by Ajax. That is splendid. While that's doing that, let's have a look at our research tree. Is there anything new that we can research? Ooh, they're all quite expensive still, which suggests to me that uh, nobody else is really following me into the research. Ball bearings, uh, stereo. I want stereo. Let's add stereo. Oh, EE Prom. That would be good. That will do that as well. You have researched a new technology. We've got, we've got serial. Your building upgrade has completed. Right, so I've now got eight logistics points. That is awesome. Okay, just pause this for a second. So where should we go? I don't want to take the last place for, ev for every company. I want to give them a little smidgen of the world to sell into <laughs> because I'm generous or is that cruel? It's a bit like uh, prisoners in, in the Alcatraz prison of, of, of old. Uh, if you've been to if, if you've been to California, if you've been to San Francisco, and you haven't been to Alcatraz, why on earth not? But yeah, if you can get, they do, I do recommend visiting because that one of the sort of information on the information sort of the audio tour you get when you as you you, you can get when you walk around. Uh, establish a, a logistic point here. Um, the, what it what it tells you is that. One of the cruelest things about Alcatraz was that you could actually see across the bay the city of San Francisco. You were holed up in this hell hole of a prison and you could see just across the water the bright lights and you couldn't get there. You could attempt, and I think a few people did attempt to get out of out of the prison and swim across or somehow get across the water and I don't know if anyone made it to be honest because uh, I don't remember that much of the story because <laughs> yeah I'm forgetful like that I am overproducing again um, what we've we learned anything about research I think we might have done that done actually uh, what have we learned have we learned anything on the research on the marketing oh performance isn't important Oh, for the for the uh, for the portables, that's interesting. Okay, um, do we want to go bigger? We'll go bigger on the marketing. Yeah, that's what we'll do. That should bring in a few more customers, or should I reduce the price? <laughs> Why? I'm earning nine million, and I'm ninety three percent of the global work global market. This is awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm st we're still not okay. We'll 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 bring one of our factories down a little bit. Uh, factories. Let's get those back into the order I want. 
So we will, oh, we'll close down Ireland. That's our most expensive factory. Uh, Malawi, we can take you out, can we? Yeah, and Niger, we don't need all of that. Oh, we can take you out as well. Just saving money, really. Oh, demand has dropped. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, people are releasing new computers. So, Datal Systems and Cheap and Great have released new computers. So, they're probably taking my market share. Uh, so, uh, who's that? Your, are you Datal? No, your Massive Modules. Your Datal. Yeah, they've... Datal Systems really going for the... Pro Good grief, that's expensive for a home computer. And their performance, okay, is better than mine. Their prestige isn't a patch on mine. Uh, it's not a bad looking machine. Oh, their quality is good though. Their quality is good. And performance. But yeah, okay. Uh, cheap and great. Uh, again, competitively priced. Awesome performance. Yeah, got to give them that. Yeah. Uh, capacity, yeah, rubbish. Uh, feature set, poor. Prestige. That's, that's not bad. Actually, it's slightly better than mine. That's okay. But, you know, rubbish, really. Okay, we. what I'm going to do... Oh, and brutal data. Ah! Okay, now, I, heads up. A, li a little bit of um, truth-telling here, just to be honest. I had actually played the game on for a, a year or so after the last recording, and I did notice that someone else someone else released a portable ibm yes <laughs> and there's undercuts the price of mine quite substantially if we just look at the at the portables so how does theirs compare performance is better press uh, capacity isn't as good feature sets not quite uh okay quality is slightly better performance is a little bit better but price, they, they're beating me on price. Now, shall we try a price drop on this? Let's try that. I don't like being using price as a weapon because the guys fight back. So let's try that and see what happens. No, I'm, oh, I'm not, no. I'm not making money anymore on that. Okay, that's fine. Right, so we will just reduce our factories. We'll mothball those for the moment. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for the 800 nanomicron, is that, I think, to come out or to do that research. Uh, and then we'll do a whole new suite of PCs and laptops. We'll leave the home computer as it is for the time being. Okay, we're back in profit. 91% of the market. I'm not really having a problem here. Yeah, we're, we're selling nicely. That's good. That is excellent. Yeah, so the next update should, should make this micromanagement kind of thing redundant. Okay, so... Oh, we've got the 386. Should I wait for that? Oh, this, this. <laughs> that, that, that's the thing, isn't it? Once you get into the swing of this, you get all these technologies coming in. You think, oh, no, that's the one. That is that is the one I want. That I really, really want. No, I'm not a Spice Girl. Um, I wasn't actually a fan of the Spice Girls either. Um, t take that how you, how you like. Uh, what am I doing here? Oh, I was looking for research, wasn't I? Uh, we want to look at the queue. So the 386... Yeah, that's going to take a while to research. Does it tell me up here roughly? Ooh, the 486. 82 days. Okay. We will leave that for the moment. And I will start building a new suite of computers using 80 nanomicrons, which should reduce my costs so I can then be properly price competitive without running the risk of losing money. Uh, in fact, let's have a quick check. What's uh, IBM doing in terms of their design? Oh, they're still on 1.5 micron. Ooh. 
Yeah, 286. Okay. Yeah. Uh, their graphics card. Well, it's a very old looking graphics card. Well, they have got the LSN. Was it a new one? <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, oh, they're still using DRAM. That's the thing. I've got FP RAM, what was it called? Yeah, on mine. But you see how they've bumped up all their their indicators here, their performance, their memory, and so on. That, that's what they're doing. They're going for the quality. Whereas one or two other companies are going for the for the cheap and nasty, but mostly cheap. Yes. Okay. Right, I think we'll be in for a good next episode. We're going to build another PC, another portable, another laptop. Uh, we're going to use the cost-cutting 800 nanomicron technology to do that. And we should then be really competitive on price. And that will be the thing to do. That Sorry, I'm <laughs> just trying to find... There we go. I wanted to do that. It says, not quite such a purple world anymore. Uh, green have come back. But why am I worrying? I've got 90% off the global market. As we can see here. I mean, everyone else. Well, actually, cheap and great are selling more computers by the look of it. Interesting. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the price cut, but they're not biggest in any market, really. Actually, they don't appear to be anywhere, do they? No, they've gone entirely. Either me or IBM has taken them out. Okay, my market share is dropping, uh, but I'm still making loads of money. So what I'll do, we'll, we'll stop here. And I will say thank you so much for joining me today for this episode of Computer Tycoon. If you've enjoyed this, the rush of getting a new generation computer out to the world. And basically ruling, ruling the world. Well, in sales terms anyway. Uh, yes, <laughs> if you've enjoyed this, it'd be great to hear from you. Uh, leave a like, please. If you, if you feel like doing that, just click on the old thumbs up button. Even better though, if you've got any thoughts, any hints, tips, recommendations, or even criticisms of my bizarre lack of strategy in this game. I, I do kind of know what I'm doing, but yeah, it doesn't always show. Honest, Gov. <laughs> yes. If you have anything to say at all, please do just drop a note into the comments box below. That would be awesome. And of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Computer Tycoon, until the next time, bye-bye for now.